Let me go to Jay. Jay Corn is from Arkansas. Hi, Jay. I got three questions and then one comment. The comment okay. That I had is uh, we still got two years, Mr. Obama. You didn't mention that. I mean, he's already at seven trillion. That's true. Two more years. That's true. Oh my word. Um, and then the funny thing is, cattle prices. Uh, I do a lot of cattle, and uh, now we I haven't seen. Only thing I've seen is the feed go up. I mean, that's all I've seen out there. You mm. run small herds, the feed just keeps going up. Double E bonds is my question. Okay. I bought a double E bond back in uh, 08, 09, and 2000. Uh-huh. I was under the impression after so many years it's supposed to be fully, um, the yield is supposed to meet up to about 100. You bought it at 50. After seven years, it's supposed to be at 100, and then it goes to the interest. I right. haven't even hit that. Can you explain that? Well, they keep changing the bar. They keep moving. They keep moving it. On on a daily basis, by the way, Jay. So, um, you know, they they um, so they earn interest. Here, here's how it used to be that you could bank on. It you used to be able to bank on the fact that they earn, continue to earn for thirty years. After seven or twelve years, depending on what kind of bond it was, it was face value. In other words, you bought it. You bought a hundred dollar bond for fifty bucks. At, you know, at the end of seven years, it was worth a hundred, but they keep changing. That keeps moving and it continually moves. So, um, I don't even know what it is now. Like I, I don't, how long have you had it? Uh, Oh, eight, I oh, mean, eight. Uh, okay. 89, uh, 90 and 2000. Okay. So, uh, I, I mean, are they at face at close to face value yet? No, sir. No. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's our, that's our, you know, uh, government just moving the bar, on it all the time. As interest rates continue to stay low, um, you know, they're going to, you know, they're unable to reach any kind of uh, reasonable amount of time for them to get to face value. And that's, that's the problem. So, you know, so if you see interest rates, the Fed raise interest rates, let's say uh, at the end of this year, then you're going to see the maturity on those E-bonds, you know, change for the better now you know, as interest rates come up. But that's exactly what continues to happen. And I suspect, you know, and it's happening to anybody. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant when you bought the bond. So if you bought the bond in 1987, everything is still slowed down. So it doesn't matter.